subscribe gadget filter channel and tap the bell icon for never miss any update oneplus x the cheapest oneplus phone so far the oneplus x is a way bit smaller and not quite as powerful as the oneplus 2 starting at just over 200 euro the fact that you got a full hd skin plus 13 and 8 megapixel cameras mean the oneplus x offered a strong value for money these days the oneplus x costs just 189 euro but has a strong competition from the likes of the Moto G4 and G4 Plus. So, is it still worth the purchase? Hey, it's me, Shadow Chubuj from Gadget Filter Channel, and here's my full review of the OnePlus X for 2017. OnePlus X always feels a bit like pulling on some comfortable trainers. It's easy to fondle with one hand and super light at just 136 gram. Even the glossy, slippery rear can spoil the grip. However, that glossy backing is as vulnerable to scratches as ever. Carry the phone around unprotected and you will notice tiny scars marking the surface in no time at all. I still love the OnePlus X's excellent 5-inch AMOLED screen too which is just as vibrant as the OnePlus 3's large 5.5-inch panel. Contrast levels are great and the full HD resolution keeps images nice and sharp. In fact, I would say the OnePlus display is just as strong as the screen on the Sony Xperia X, which cost over twice as much. And unlike the OnePlus 3, here you get microSD support so you can expand the onboard 16GB of storage. One thing that is missing in OnePlus X is a fingerprint sensor, something that you will find on a couple of other Androids around this price point, the best being the Moto G4 Plus. Tapping in a pin every time I want to fiddle with the phone seems so sluggish now in comparison. Still Oxygen OS is a great as ever, offering up much the same experience as the OnePlus 3. Android is presented in a mostly vanilla form while OnePlus shell feature gives first access to your favorite apps, contacts, and other essential bytes. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 801 processors might be getting on a beat, but the OnePlus X still performs well, helped considerably by the 3GB of RAM stuffed inside. You will notice the occasional slaughter or pause, but the latest games still play without any trouble. Battery life sadly lags behind other rivals at this price point. I generally get around a day of life per charge as long as I don't abuse it too much. The OnePlus X's 13 megapixel camera is still a solid, dependable snapper coming close to recently released rivals like the Moto G4. You can shoot up to full HD resolution videos which looks perfectly fine as long as you don't move around too much. I liked the OnePlus X when it first launched despite its obvious flaws. For almost the same price you can grab the Moto G4 Plus, for instance which boosts a fingerprint sensor and longer battery life. So guys that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for getting more videos and I will catch you in the next one.